Hey, <laughs> if I look tired, it's because I am. Um, the reason why is because I've been up all night writing this freaking show about the Super Bowl. Um, it's funny because a lot of people are saying, what are you going to say that Snoop Dogg's Illuminati and you say that Dr. Dre's Illuminati? No, I'm not. I'm not going to say that. And, and for those of you that think that that's what we do when we talk about the Super Bowl, that's not what we do. Uh, I, along with Tracy Twyman and a few others, we had been doing this now for years, okay? Even before the Daily Beast got a hold of it and said it's a QAnon thing. It's not a QAnon thing. What it is, is that I had, along with several other people, thought that the Super Bowl reflects the future in a lot of ways. So the commercials you see on the Super Bowl are going to tell you what your future is going to be in the country and what happens at the Super Bowl, whether it be uh, different ty types of symbolism or whatever, it also reflects what's going on. It doesn't necessarily have to be satanic or Illuminati or whatever. I know a lot of people are dumbfounded today because they didn't see any Illuminati symbolism in the halftime show. No, you didn't see Illuminati symbolism, but you saw symbolism that's a little bit more esoteric because they're a little bit more clever in how they put it in there. And so tonight, Ryan Gable and I are going to take on the Super Bowl and we're going to give you the definitive uh, Super Bowl special. And, uh, you know, and to all the people out there that are sunk and don't know what happened, you know, you got to pay attention to little stuff. And uh, you can't try and fit square pegs in round holes because it just looks bad. Uh, so, and you can't always say that it's an Illuminati conspiracy when there are other things that happen. There are other belief systems that are being exposed. And it's all about politics, war, and equality. There are a lot of other things, too, that they're trying to send a message. Many agendas are now going on in the Super Bowl, not just some Illuminati agenda to make it simple for everybody and to put in a box. So I was on the phone with Ryan Gable last night. I was on the phone with Ryan Gable this morning, on the phone with Ryan Gable this afternoon. I didn't finish the show until right before air. So it goes to show you how much work we put into this tonight. It shows how much uh, an analysis we're going to be doing. And so I really want to invite you to join us tonight from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Ground Zero. That's Pacific time. And then, of course, Ryan Gable gives his thoughts between 8 and 10 uh, Pacific time. So check us out. The show is called Unnecessary Super, Super Bowl Evil. That's what I called it. Um, but there's uh, other working titles as well, Eve of the Dark, um, several other things that uh, when we talk about them, it'll all come together for you, if you remember the Super Bowl. Um, a lot of the commercials about tech, a lot of commercials about the metaverse and then and, and the uh, multiverse, a lot of uh, shows about scarcity, uh, eating sponges, drinking dish soap, uh, you know, uh, also uh, drinking water illegally, breaking the law, liquid death, kids drinking water. It's uh, a lot of strange things that were in the Super Bowl commercials. Not so strange the halftime show, but still symbolic in a lot of ways. So tonight we're just going to break it all open for you. And I'm sure you're going to find it very enlightening. It's not going to be some stupid, oh, it's all Illuminati, be scared. Uh, a lot of people have suggested that, uh, like I said, the Daily Beast suggested that those who do it are mega centric and, and they're, and they're, you know, QAnon followers. No, screw you, Daily Beast. No, we're not. And I'm not, I can tell you I'm not, but I really want uh, tonight we're going to give you a really good show. So I want you to tune in tonight on ground zero. We'll see you then.